from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, October the 22nd, 2021. Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and Russian President Vladimir Putin met for the first time today in Sochi, Russia. Bennett told Putin the basis of our discussion will be the deep friendship between our two nations. We view you as a true friend of the Jewish people. Adding, we will also discuss the situation in Syria and, of course, our efforts to halt the Iranian military nuclear program. Bennett arrived in Russia early this morning, planning to depart this afternoon to get back to Israel before the start of the Sabbath tonight. But the meeting between the two went long, and Bennett extended his stay until the end of the Sabbath tomorrow, Saturday night. The Washington, D.C. chapter of the Sunrise Movement, an environmentalist group, said that it would not take part in a rally on voting rights scheduled for tomorrow in the Capitol because they said a number of Zionist organizations are participating, namely speaking about the National Council of Jewish Women, the Jewish Council on Public Affairs, and the Religious Action Center of Reform Judaism. Sunrise DC wrote, given our commitment to racial justice, self-governance, and indigenous sovereignty, we opposed Zionism and any state that enforces its ideology. While Jewish organizations shared their outrage over the remarks and actions, including the Anti-Defamation League, whose CEO Jonathan Greenblatt said, this is the vilification of Jewish nationhood and a litmus test for all who support it. This, he said, is anti-Semitic, plain and simple. A number of lawmakers also weighed in, like New York Congressman Richie Torres, who wrote, there's a concerted effort to ideologically cleanse progressive politics of anyone or anything that dares to believe in Israel's right to exist. The fear-mongering about Zionist organizations, he wrote, has an undeniable undercurrent of anti-Semitism that cannot and should not be ignored. Well, the main Sunrise Movement responded that they reject anti-Semitism but fell short of condemning the D.C. chapter statement. The Religious Action Center, one of the groups mentioned by the D.C. chapter, wrote, Let's be clear, we do not consider our work on voting rights to be in conflict with our progressive Zionist principles, adding that the failure of the Sunrise Movement to speak clearly in condemnation of the offensive statement this week from their Sunrise DC hub that sought to erase the presence of the RAC, the NCJW, and JCPA from the fight for voting rights is shameful. Northeastern University police are trying to find the person or persons responsible for tearing down a mezuzah off of the school's Hillel. The incident occurred this past weekend when the mezuzah at the entrance to the Jewish Student Center was found on the ground in pieces and the parchment encased inside it missing. President of the university, Joseph Aoun, sent out a letter in response to the incident, which read in part, No matter its origin, this despicable act has left members of our Jewish community justifiably upset, saddened, and even fearful. They are experiencing firsthand, he wrote, an instance of senseless hate coming at a time when the ancient scourge of anti-Semitism is on the rise across the U.S. and around the world. Aoun wrote, this incident will not shake our shared commitment to the values that are fundamental to our community. Fairness, respect, diversity, inclusion, and resilience. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Friday, October the 22nd. Live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed by Shabbat services from the Hampton Synagogue. At 8.30, it's a concert from the Krakow Festival. At 9, it's the film A Blind Hero. Then at 10.30, a replay from the Hampton Synagogue services, followed by a replay from Central Synagogue. And coming up next, a look at this week's Torah portion. And that's the JBS News Update for Friday, October the 22nd, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well, and Shabbat Shalom.